Hey there, Steven here from Crystal Tractor and Equipment. Today I'm out at our Leesburg location and I've got with me here a very particular Gravely mower. Uh, it's part of a special lineup that I want to go over. Now, if you're familiar at all with Zero Turns, you've probably heard the name Gravely at some point. They've been making uh, lawn mowers and lawn equipment since 1916. They've been around quite a while and they're pretty popular in the commercial mower space so for lawn care professionals um, you may use one if you are or you've probably seen them passing by on trailers down the road or uh, maybe you have a lawn guy and they use it gravely but if you've been considering getting your own mower the new ztx and ztxl line are perfect for homeowners um, they take a lot of the features that gravely builds into their commercial line downsized it a little bit to make a more compact mower and put some value added features in here and drops the price a little bit. So I think they're an excellent option and I'd like to go over some of the features and benefits of these lines and uh, kind of show you how they might work for you. Let's take a look. So the particular mower I have pulled out here for us today is the ZTXL 42. This is gonna be the most compact size available for deck width. Uh, ZTX and XL both come in a 42, 48, and 52 inch deck size. You'll notice there's no 60 or 72 inch sizes available because these are designed for your normal residential lot uh, for anyone who's on maybe a quarter acre up to about an acre or a little bit larger. Uh, they're not designed to necessarily go out on your big uh, five to 10 acre properties, but they'll still get the job done and you'll be able to fit it in your garage or into your shed without much issue. Now that we're here having a closer look at the ZTXL 42, I would imagine a few things might stand out to you. Uh, one interesting thing that I found here is even though we have a smaller deck, now typically a zero turn, you're gonna be able to step right up on the deck to get onto the mower. Well, they actually realized that you have a much smaller deck here, so that wouldn't be as safe. What they went ahead and did was added this step here, which is very firmly secured to the frame of the mower. It lets you step right up here with no issues at all. Doesn't flex at all, holds up to your weight. The other thing you can do is step through the front right here to get on and off this way. And then just turn around here on the pad. Now that I'm up here on the seat, you'll also notice they didn't make any concessions on comfort either. So we actually have these nice padded armrests built in. Uh, they're also foldable. You can get them right out of your way if you don't like them. And then when you bring in the control handles for the transmissions, they actually have knobs here that we can use to loosen these up and we can control the uh, angle that these control bars are positioned at. Now, and speaking of the control bars, another feature is they integrated parking brakes here. So when you open these handles up, parking brakes are automatically engaged on both wheels. So you don't have to go finding another lever to lock it in place every time you want to get up and on and off the mower. So if you got to jump down and pick up a stick that's in your way, pick up some yard debris, maybe some kids left some toys out in the yard, it's easy to just open up, hop off, get that out of your way, hop back on and get going again. Another thing Gravely was thinking of when they designed these mowers was convenience. So you'll notice this little area right here. This actually opens up and gives you sort of a glove box type feature on your deck. This pops open and you have a little storage compartment here with three trays that you can store some hand tools or whatever you need. Now, this is actually fully removable, it comes right out. And you'll notice underneath here, we get full access to our pulleys and belt. So if we need to clean some debris out or just uh, reseat the belt, or we want to clean the deck off, it's a lot easier without having to get underneath here or drop the whole deck off just to get to that. Then this pan just drops right back in place and snaps in. Now, likewise, over here on the sides, you can also snap these covers off. They're just held in place by little grommets. And these can either swing out of the way or you can fully remove them to again, get to your belt and pulley as it were here on the right and left sides of the deck. Right here in the front as well, you can actually see the fuel gauge, <laughs> we'll call it that. It's more of a sight window. You can see directly into the gas tank and see right where your fuel level is at. So you don't have to worry about a gauge uh, that might break later on. It's very easy to tell. Now, of course, speaking of storage, 
We also have a cup holder right here, some small tool storage, and they actually integrated a phone storage slot as well. So you can keep this here without sitting on it or trying to fish it out of your pocket when you need it. That's pretty handy. Now here on the right side, we'll find our uh, standard controls, right? So we actually have our engine speed control level right here. This is our throttle lever. And you can see it is labeled. Uh, so up here at the top is gonna be full speed for your cutting speed. Down here at the bottom is gonna be your idle speed. Uh, we do have an hour meter included on these mowers and that makes it a lot easier to remember when your scheduled maintenance is due. Very easy to pull and push button, electronic start for your blade PTO. And we have our engine choke right here. And we have our four position key ignition right here. This is actually uh, designed very simply for off, run, start, and right here, this is one of the great value added features on this mower. You actually have headlights included on this. Now these awesome bright LED headlights can be engaged whether the mower's running or not. So even if you just need a little extra light in the garage, you can key these on. Or if the mower's running at night or you kind of cut a little bit late into the evening, you're gonna have some light to light your way when you're making those cuts. Now one other feature we'll find that pulls back from Gravely's commercial history is the cut height adjustment here. So we have a foot lever here that's gonna actually raise the deck for you and take your weight off your pin down here. And we'll go ahead and pull the height of cut lock back and see that we can drop it right down to that pin height. Now, to change the cut height, which by the way, is available in quarter inch increments from inch and a half up to four and a half inches, all we do is raise the deck off of the pin drop the pin in the new hole we'd like to set our height to and drop it right back down to where it sets. Now, this height of cut lock lever is actually exclusive to the ZTXLs. What this does actually is let you go ahead and push the deck lever all the way forward and it'll lock it in place at the highest cut position. So this is pretty convenient to actually take the weight off while you find the cut height that you like and then you can just drop it back down onto it or if you want to just raise the height, the deck up all the way into a transport position without manually adjusting your cut height. That way, when you go back to get ready to cut again, all you have to do is drop it right back down to where it was. So now let's talk power. Now the ZTX and ZTXL lines are available with either a Kawasaki or Kohler engine, depending on the deck size. Here we actually can see the Kawasaki FR651V. This is a 21 and a half horsepower engine and it's designed with the easy access air filter. Uh, you can actually get a hold of this guy and swap this out when you're ready. And the ZTX line is driven by the Hydrogear EZT transmission. It's perfect for residential use. Whereas the XL line steps that up a little bit to the Hydro Gear ZT2800 series. And this is a little bit more of a commercially designed uh, transmission. So this would be the mower I would recommend if you're working more towards the one to two acre size for this type of mower. Down here at the tires, uh, both ZTX and XL are going to be riding on 20 by eight inch rear tires. Although with the XLs, you do get a slightly more aggressive tread here if you can need that extra grip. So there's my overview on the Gravely ZTX and ZTXL mowers. If you wanna see anything more in the Gravely lineup, keep in mind we carry everything from the ZTXs all the way up to the ProTurn 672. Come down and see us here at 3701 West Main Street in Leesburg or give us a call 352-787-1234. That's a real phone number. I didn't make that up. Uh, we'd be happy to take your call and tell you anything more you'd like to know. Thanks for checking out the video.